The stage has thus been set with Lover One. Soon, Lover Two's debut shall hath begun. But if it's points our players want, material, they must mix in the names of breakfast cereals. Hmm. <sighs> I me. Lady Portia, wherefore such tristful sighs scape forth from out thy beauteous lips? Would it were summer, and yet now does enter on this day the coldest of winter. And so it seems to me the weather makes many mistakes to shower upon us these snowy, dear, frosted flakes. That is a point for blame. But come, if there are frosted flakes about, let, let, let a sunny disposition reign within thy heart to banish off the cold that would beset thy spirit. Does not thy father throw a fit this very day, a mid-afternoon party, not quite a brunch or a late-night jam that thou shalt enjoy? How I would enjoy a lover's lunch. Oh, how I would have a captain me to crunch. <laughs> That's a point for blame. For I tell thee, to crunch? my heart <laughs> yes. Seek not, young Portia, for so rough a thing as crunching. Ooh, I want to be I, crunched. Nay, in this crunching, thy heart should find defeat. Rather be gentler with thy spirit and seek a smoother cream of wheat. <laughs> That's a point for us. Daughter my, most noble uh, duke. Yes, nurse, well met. Daughter I. Tell thee, this fete this eve is not simply just for thee to enjoy dancing, but indeed, tonight you shall find a mate. <gasps> Yea, an account I have brought to make you his wife, and you shall live with him forever for your entire life. A count? Can it be that the famed Count Chocula comes this very day? <laughs> he is here this eve. The man a reputation has as a monster, but trust me, <laughs> the county of Chocula is a rich and boonful place. Glance not upon the man, he is not well to look at. To hear him is, is not well either. See the man by his fortune, judge him by his clothes. See him not, hear him not, instead. Follow your nose. <laughs> it is well known Count Chocula is of an ill temper, an ill demeanor, an altogether cruel and foul, an old good part and merriment he lacks. He shall not shower upon my face gentle honey smack. Daughter, he shall. <laughs> I, lady, listen to thy pops. <laughs> we play not games nor tricks. Do what I did, for I tell thee tricks are for kids. No longer a kid thou art, a woman thou shalt be. And so now you must become more chocolatey. <laughs> you must listen to thy father, lady. Here in our realm, his power is total. <laughs> That's a point for Ross. I shall do what thou dost wish. Behave in thy special way. I shall give him gentle kiss, a special Special gay. <laughs> but I tell thee, father, though me thou dost stand above, I cannot promise that to this count I shall give my love. Tis not necessary. Nay, but instead thy obedience is most assured. Now, nurse, I proffered to you earlier a bangle of special memories to give to my daughter. There's a moon and a star, a rainbow, a balloon. <laughs> Sometimes special edition ones come along. <laughs> I, this family ornament that thou shouldst never come to harm. Here now I wear around my neck these lucky, lucky charms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I have no choice but to say a point for all three. Come, there is some joy to be found in love. I, when thou goest unto to go I unto the cornucopia of a moor to eat its many fruits. Come, find joy in love, whensoever thou art married. It shall not be but one repast. Thou shalt think, oops, all berries. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Kind of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> I shall see thee tonight at the fete, but now I must go. Cheerio. Oh, wow, yeah, absolutely. <sighs> oh, oh, wretched <laughs> nurse. Oh, more wretched me. That this now, Count Chocula, I must see. Ah, uh, you must bear his arms and greater bear his suit. Oh, gentle monster of thy father, this dire fruit brute. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Discontinued. <laughs> Was that a cereal? Yes. I didn't even know that one. And if this causes butterflies to light upon thy tummy, take it up with thy mother, thy delicious yummy mummy. <laughs> oh, my. oh, my. These are Count Chocula's <laughs> friends. <laughs> he shall have 
no love of me, no soprano, only treble, for I shall never touch his Wheaties or know his fruity pebbles. <laughs> oh, two points. You speak this in youth, knowing not the pricks of age's wounds and cuts. You spurn his fruity pebbles, but he shall give thee his grape nuts. <laughs> I know not the pricks of age. I know not such pain either. But I tell thee, though I know no pricks like this, I shall not know his either. Tis well, lady. Thou shouldst not love in obedience merely. What am I going to do then? <laughs> Thou must unto this fet go. But mayhap at this party some, some other companion to thee it shall show. So then I shall place a crown upon a lover's head. For one night I shall not have breakfast, but I shall have lunch instead. 